No trip to Salem would be complete without picking up a few souvenirs. So I came down here to the Salem Witch Museum souvenir shop, and I found some greatest things like uh, this real scary stuff like this black cat. <laughs> and, uh, oh, this witch. This witch. I think I'll take one of those. <laughs> Put a cat in there, too. And, ah! Oh, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, it's a frog in a tutu. This is scary, I must say. No. I thought it might turn into Prince. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, look, fish. Mm-hmm. Guess they meant to send this to the fish museum, but they mixed up and sent it to the witch museum. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Scared myself. And let's see. Oh, look, I love these plaques. I always buy these wherever I go. This one here says anyone can be a mother, but it takes someone special to be a mommy. Okay, I'll take that anyway. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, look, a duck brush. <laughs> duck! <laughs> well, uh, let's see what else I have here. Oh, look, look, pom-pom fun balls. Mm -hmm, that's, that's what they used to call me in high school. Guess I'll take two. And what else do we have? Oh, books, books, superstitions of England, uh, witchcraft of Salem. Ah! Oh, I have coca. It's really hairy. Okay, oh, look, look, I got to get one of these. I mean, this is a classic, a broom for my trip back. Oh, look. A new Italian modern model of a group. Oh, this is great. I gotta get a couple of these. <laughs> you think I'm mad, don't you? Perhaps we are both mad. Somebody. Oh, how about this man here? Hi, how's it going? Great. What's your name? Bill Hennessy. Bill, you know, you know, being Halloween and everything, I was just wondering if you had a big treat for me. Oh, I sure have. I bet you do, Bill. I sure do. But I think we better, uh, I think Bill has a big treat for me. Let's move on now. <clears throat> it's time for Elvira's Trick or Treat Tips. I said tips. You know, Halloween is a great time to clean out the old record collection. Remember all those great albums you still love but just don't have the room for? Well, why not make some lucky boy or girl jump for joy when you drop oldies but goodies like these in their trick-or-treat bag? Here, little boy, you're gonna love my Donnie and Marie album. And oh, how about this? It's Jimmy Swaggart. Take my Flying Nun album, please. And my fave Day by Day by Doris Day. And you'll love Disco Duck. Hi, I'm Elvira, and I'll be standing by to take your calls right after this. Hi, are you stuck in a dead-end job? Are you so desperate that you wish you had a dead-end job to be stuck in? Just too stupid to be a computer programmer? Too squeamish to be a dental assistant? Too short to drive a truck? Then we may have just the school for you, the Salem State College of Witchcraft and Voodoo. Yes, on the beautiful campus of the Salem State College of Witchcraft and Voodoo, you may find just the career you've been looking for. 
Yes. Our veterans approved course of study includes such classes as potions, black magic, white magic, possession, sorcery, voodoo dolls, and of course, hex education. How do you think I got as far as I did? In brains? <laughs> and our fully qualified instructors take a very personal interest in all of our students. I never did do no good in school, but now I light up at the thought of a spelling bee, and I'm making good money, too. You'll meet exciting new friends, and all in the serene setting of beautiful Salem. So if you're looking for a career with a future, as well as a past, call now at 666-WITCH. Operators are standing by. Hi, I'm still Elvira. I'm waiting for you to call. If you call right now, we'll give you as our free gift this beautiful combination phone and alarm clock. So call right now. Hurry. For the first 500 callers, we'll also include my home phone number. Salem State College of Witchcraft and Voodoo. Salem State College of Witchcraft and Voodoo. Salem State College of Witchcraft and Voodoo. Salem State College of Witchcraft and Voodoo is not associated with Salem State College. Here in downtown Salem, kind of interviewing some people, locals, you know. And I found a guy here. Uh, what's your name, sir? Elmer Allard. Elmer? Elmer. Okay, Elmer, so how's it going? Wonderful. Good. Elmer, you know, I have a really important question I want to ask you. Do you, you know, do you believe in superstitions? You know, superstitions? Do you believe in them? Never. No, you're not a superstitious man? <laughs> Never. No, you mean you, you never had any bad thing happen to you? A superstitious, you know, kind of black hat no. cross your path, nothing? No. Elmer, you're a lucky guy. Okay, you know what I want you to do? Just like a little experiment for me? Yes. Okay, how about just uh, like turning around over here and just walking under that ladder and, and uh, we can prove that way that, you know, superstitions really don't exist. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, go right ahead there. All right, see? <laughs> Guess we did prove special time for me and well for all of us folks down here it's time for reflection time to look back and be grateful for all those tricks we've been treated to it's a time when i like to plug in the fire and listen to some of my all-time favorite halloween carols and they're all available on this album elvira's all-time favorite halloween carols you'll get all these all-time favorites Because if you act now, you'll also get this. Elvira's All-Time Favorite Halloween Carols, Volume 2. You'll get more of my all-time favorites, like... Eyes of Mommy Kissing Frankenstein. Oh, the black Halloween. Harry, you man, was a very hairy man. Yeah, Harold's face and Harold's back and Harold falls up. Yes, enough Halloween carols to last a lifetime. Available now through this special offer. Here's how to order. Just a 999 or 999 or 2 Elvira's result in favor. Halloween carols volumes 1 and 2 box 9 999 or 2 slash cross 9999. No checks, CODs, or money orders. We want your cash only. That's Elvira's all time favorite Halloween carols volume 1 and 2. Listen to it with someone you love. It's really important to look good on Halloween. For example, if you're going as a ghost, don't wear a floral print sheet. And most importantly, be sure the eye holes are in the general vicinity of the eyes. Hi, 
there, Elvira here. I was just about to make my favorite Halloween snack. Now, if you're like me, and I know you are exactly like me, after a long, hard day of carving pumpkins, you're just not in the mood for a pumpkin pie. <laughs> I mean, to tell you the truth, that stuff looks like it fell out of a pamper. <laughs> so, when I'm talking Halloween snacks, I'm not talking pumpkin. I'm talking Halloweenies. Don't get excited, girls. These are just the kind you pick up at the grocery store. Now, first, I'm going to carve them, just like this. Some of you more sensitive guys in the audience might want to close your eyes for this part. Make a little eye there. Mm -hmm. Another little eye. Little nose. And then, of course, a little mouth. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hi, I'm a little weenie. <laughs> and now I'm going to fill his face with some of this delicious cheese product, just like this. Uh-huh. So delicious and good for you. And now he's all ready, isn't he cute? Let's just cook him up. Now, if you listen carefully, you can almost hear him saying Happy Halloween. Ah! Help me, somebody! And in just moments, you've made more than a snack. You've ah! made a friend. Happy Halloween. -y. You think I'm mad, don't you? Unpleasant dream. Get your Elvira doll, Satan, cool car, and nightmare mansion for only $79.99. Breasts sold separately. Welcome back to the $25,000 Pentagram with your host, Dick Dark. Remember, Elvira, just give a list of the clues. If you make a mistake, you'll hear this. Well, we'll have none of that. <laughs> none of that, get it, sister. Yes, I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Okay, concentrate. Here's your first subject. Uh, my dress. Tight things, tacky things. Watch it, sister. We I said my dress. Uh, your dress. Uh, the whole cow cut it. Black things, black things. Uh, oh, I'm so cute and furry. I'm a little pet. Things a puppy would say. Things a dog would say. Things a kitten would say. No, I said cute. Uh, things a bunny. What a bunny would say. Oh, go on. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yes. Come on. Go on, go on to the next one. Go on. A broom. Things you sweep with, things you clean with, things with a handle. Things you shut up. A broom, a, a black cat. A, 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 the guy you picked up last night. I didn't pick up any guy last oh. night. Oh, yeah, I'm so sure. Well, I didn't. Well, you didn't win, sis, but you'll be able to try again tomorrow when you come back with Madonna and Soupy Sales. Oh, Soupy. You may be able to win the $25,000 Pentagram. Till then, I'm Dick Dart. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm glad you do the whole thing. Now I don't even get to come back. Oh, you Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, you just one scrap there. Well, I'm sorry. I don't you think that's a little very pet? Yes, I oh, do. I think it's very cute. Pet. I do. Oh, I don't talk to me like that. Don't you? the dog. Hi. Hi there. Eva. How's it going? Okay. What's your name? Paul. Paul, let me tell you, have you ever had like a really bad trick played on you for Halloween? Bad trip? Bad trick. I'm bad sure you've trip. had a lot of bad trips, Paul, but <laughs> like a bad trick played on you for Halloween? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like what? R rubber dog do on my front step a couple times. Oh, rubber dog do. That is vicious, vicious, but that's better than the real thing though, right? Much better, yeah. Yeah, so you're yeah. lucky. Yeah, much better. Very lucky, thank you. How about your dog? What's what's the best, uh, worst thing ever happened to him? Uh, oh. Would you like to say a few words? Oh, somebody laid a real one on his front step once. <laughs> Someone laid a person doo-doo on his step one. <laughs> no. That's Benny. <laughs> I gotta give him away. He's trying to eat the microphone. Okay, everybody. Up off your Beelzebubs. It's time for Exorcising with Elvira. 
Okay, you say you're possessed by 20 pounds of extra flesh and you're having a devil of a time getting rid of it. What to do? Well, it's time to exercise that fat away the exorcist way. Okay, first we're gonna do away with that extra chin you've been paying hell for down at the office. Now we're going to start with some neck twists. And ready, begin. And now to the left. That's right, feel the burn. And don't forget to breathe. Hi, here we are in Salem. It's Halloween night, and there's some people around here in some great costumes. Oh, oh look at these guys' costumes. Gloria, you guys have on some great Halloween costumes. This isn't a costume, lady. I'm a real policeman. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real policeman. How long have you been a cop here in Salem? Seven years. Oh, yeah? And in that seven years, have you ever arrested any witches? No, I have, but you may be the first one. <laughs> oh, I'm the first one. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? Huh? You think what? that's a joke? What? Lady, do you have what? a permit? Do you have what? a permit to be honest? Permit to do what? Just turn around now. We're going to cuff you. Permit to do what? Just what? Turn around. Give me your hands back what here. What are you Stop giving us a hard time. What do I have to have a permit for? I'm just out here being myself. It's Halloween. I'm dressed up. This is a costume. Sorry. I have to cost you. It's empty me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a star. I'm a celeb. I'm a big celebrity. Oh, are you really? I'm a big celebrity. You do a big celebrity. celebrity. You can't do this to me. I'm not asking We'll be you. talking about it. You know, the treats you give out on Halloween are as important as the tricks you receive. You wouldn't want to be known as that old bag down the street who gives out stale candy, would you? I don't think so. Give a little time and thought to the treats you give out this year. Some good treats might be a Walkman or his and hers matching Rolexes. Bad treats would be raw fish, fake beans, Ball. Hello, darling. It's me, that cute little maid who loves to get paid. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And like I promised, it's time for that special treat for all you tricksters out there. That's right, it's time for Fanfare, please! Never mind. It's time for Elvira's weirdest, strangest, most bizarre video countdown of all time. Now, over the next hour, you're going to be seeing some of the sickest stuff ever set to celluloid. All these videos have been scientifically selected and approved by a completely impartial panel of judges. <laughs> Me, myself, and I. And if you don't like it, lump it. I mean, what do you think I look like, Price Waterhouse? Anyway, let's kick things off with one of my all-time favorite cool bands doing Shadow of Love, The Damn. Uh, excuse me, I thought I was on TV for a second there. I mean, coming in at number 10, it's Dave Vanian and The Dark. You know, Dave could be a pretty good-looking guy, but I guess no one's ever told him about Grecian formula. Now, no countdown of the strangest, weirdest, most bizarre videos of all time would be complete without that king of the kinky himself, Ozzy Osbourne. Here he is now in the number nine position. Hmm, I wonder if that's anything like the missionary. No, never mind. Hi, darling. Glad to see you're back. Glad to see your front, too, but that's another story for another time. <laughs> Just before the commercial break, you saw Ozzy Osbourne doing Shot in the Dark, which came in at number nine in Elvira's weirdest, strangest, most bizarre video countdown of all time. Well, we caught up with Ozzy on the set of his upcoming film, appropriately entitled Trick or Treat, and asked him exactly what he thought of the special spooky videos I selected tonight. I just think it's sexist, evil, satanic rubbish. Whoa, dude, sure have changed your tune. Guy, maybe the same thing happened to him that happened to that girl in this video. Yeah, you know, she went to an Ozzy Osbourne concert looking normal, but after the concert, she was all weird and gnarly looking. Well, old Oz must have just come home from seeing Wayne Newton in Vegas or something, because he sure looked different to me. <laughs> um, Ozzy, excuse me, but do you have anything you'd like to say to the audience before we move on? Trick or treat, I'll see you on Halloween. <laughs> oh, 
you. <laughs> now there's the old Ozzy we know and hate. Thanks, Ozzy, and give my best to Harriet. <laughs> now stick around, because in the number eight slot, we've got a real classic piece for you. Piece of what, I won't say. But a real classic piece from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the Time Warp. Do you think I'm going anywhere, darling? Because I've got Lou Reed, Alice Cooper, and the Blow Monkeys coming right up on MTV. With me, and no, my first name ain't Baby. It's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, if you're nasty. And we're running down the top 10 weirdest, strangest, most bizarre videos of all time right here on Macabre TV. Now, the time warp from the Rocky Horror Picture Show came in at number eight, which brings us to number, uh, number... Seven, and it's the video inspired by the biggest star in Japan, and I do mean the biggest, Godzilla. That was just such a beautiful story. I just love happy endings like that. They, they always make me cry. <sighs> well, now in a more jugular vein, we've got my man, Alice Cooper, just doing what he does best, playing a typical dad to a typical teen in the video from the movie Friday the 13th. Happy Halloween, darling, and welcome back to my own special brand of video countdown. Now, number six was he's back with Alice Cooper, and he's back all right, like a bad case of the cl uh, flu. Wow, just imagine having a dad like Alice. I mean, for that matter, just imagine having a dad named Alice. Whoa, <laughs> too macabre. <laughs> now, number five on tonight's countdown is right up my alley. It's got a haunted mansion, ghosts, and the scariest part of all is it's by the blow monkeys. Not to be confused, of course, with the monkeys who haven't blown anything in ages except maybe their careers. Boy, the name Blow Monkey sure does conjure up some weird images, though, doesn't it? Just like lead singer Dr. Robert does in this next video. Hey, baby, I just love their wicked ways. Oh, oh, excuse me, darling. <laughs> Guess I've been here a little too long. I'm starting to go a little psycho. Psycho? Psycho? Did somebody say psycho? Whoa, what a coincidence. Number four on my weirdest, strangest, most bizarre video countdown of all time is ripped off, I mean, uh, based on the movie Psycho. It all takes place at the Bates Motel, which is a nice place to visit, but you wouldn't want to die there. <laughs> you know what's sort of like a roach motel? People check in, but they don't check out. Get the picture? Hello again, darling. Yes, sirree, it's me, that gal on the tube who's got the big... Ratings, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and I'm still counting them down here on Macabre TV. Now, it looks like we're down to number three already, and it's got to be one of the strangest, if not the weirdest, video of the evening. It's another monster theme, sort of like Godzilla, but this time he ain't located in Japan. Here's another one of my close personal friends, but not that close. Hey, Fred, is that a monster in your pants? Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> You know, I've been told I got a couple of monsters my own darn self, but we won't go into that right now. Anyway, we're coming up on number two, one of my all-time favorite dudes in one of the all-time sickest videos ever. I love it. I happen to know from going backstage to so many rock concerts that it takes rock stars a long time to take their makeup off after the show, but heck, it must take Lou about a thousand times as long. Hmm, wait a minute. Maybe there's nothing left to take off after the show. Gee, I'm gonna have to think about that one another time. Well, darling, we're getting close to that big finito, so don't let me get you playing with your knobs, because coming up next is the scariest, the creepiest, most weirdest and frightening video of all time. That's right, number one in my countdown here on Macabre TV. Well, darling, here it comes, as promised for your viewing displeasure, the most frightening video you'll ever see in this or any other lifetime. Lock your doors and grab onto the person or pet of your choice, because here it is. No, it's not Jason. It's not Freddy Krueger. It's not even the alien. It's, it's, it's too scary. I can't even say it. What, what, huh? Oh, 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 that appears the door is so scary. I could hardly keep my eyes open through most of it. 
Well, anyway, uh, that's about it. <laughs> the 10 weirdest, strangest, most bizarre videos of all time, and you saw them here with me on MTV. I think I better get on out of Salem before they decide to have another witch hunt. I trust you enjoyed your little trip. I know I did. <laughs> Till then, here's something to hold you over. Mwah! Hope you had a safe, insane Halloween and, oh yeah, unpleasant dreams. Hey girl, it's your special day girl. Say hip hip hooray girl, you've made it to Salem. You'll scream at the witch museum. It's like a bad dream. Elvira's in Salem. That girl on the broom is taking this town by storm. She's going to go as far as a girl can get. Don't worry if you start feeling a little warm. Cause Salem smoking we don't mean the cigarette if you're yearning uh, to see a witch burn in uh, in your grave you'll be turning with elvira in salem it's the town you can always find a witch in take it from elvira salem's bitches talking about salem mass elvira's bringing to it a great piece of it Stay tuned for Alice Cooper live from Detroit on MTV.